I went to the Apple store today because I really wanted to test out the Apple Pencil and the iPad Pro. Since I do not have either of these devices, I wanted to test them first before I wanted to get them. So I'm actually really impressed because the pencil itself works, I mean, without an issue. And you can tilt it on the side and you can shade your pictures, which is really different because you couldn't do that with some of my other tablets. So th this is actually a really cool thing to add. And um, the, the pencil itself has full pressure like a Wacom device does. And the screen has a tooth to it, a little bit like a Cintiq does, not as heavy as a Cintiq, but it does have a tooth to it, so it feels like you're drawing on paper. Uh, the pen itself does not have an eraser like a Wacom uh, tablet does, but that doesn't stop me from drawing on this. It is so nice that the, the, the pencil, I keep calling it a pen, but the pencil has a really good weight to it. It feels fantastic on your hands. I could draw with this for hours. The device itself has a battery that will last for hours, so that's not a problem. It does not heat up, it does not have a fan. I mean, this thing is fantastic to keep with you uh, in your bag. It's 12.9 inches, so it's a bit bigger, but for drawing, it's a perfect size. These devices are a little steep in price, but it's Apple, I expect it. Uh, they start at $799 for a 32 gig Wi-Fi, and the pencil is not included with the device, which is kind of a bummer, but you can buy for $99 if you can find it. They're a little hard to find at the moment, so be sure to order them online. But excellent. If you're an artist, be sure to check this out. Go to the store, play with it, see if you like it. I think you're gonna fall in love with this. And it's just fantastic. The pencil only works with the Pro. It will not work with any of the previous models. So if you have any questions, be sure to ask. And happy drawing, because I drew way too much at the store. See ya.